Taste This is brought to you by Visit Oakland. Today we're talking barrels because this is really important in the final taste of the wine. I'm Leslie Sabraco. Come on and taste this. I like to use French and American oak. I use about five or six different coopers. Uh, France has very, very cold forests. The very cold forests produce very tight grain wood. In order for a tree to be considered to be made into barrels, the tree has to be a minimum of 200 years old. It can't have any knots. Napoleon was actually the first person to start a sustainability program in the 1700s. I didn't know that. Yep, and uh, he started planting trees that were intended to be made into barrels. A lot of the barrels will have what's called three-year seasoning, which means that the staves that have been milled sit out in the French air for three years. I know that sounds silly, but this is very specific. It has to be French air. And same with America. The American oak has to be American air. American oak is a very generous aroma and flavor. Um, you get a lot of like coconut and vanilla, and the, the toast level depends as well. They're toasting the inside of this, of with the fire. staves with, with, fire. with fire. So you're caramelizing the inside of the wood. And it's like toasting a yeah, marshmallow. Right. So medium plus is the level here, medium plus toasted heads. So this one is gonna give off more of like a milk chocolate type of aroma and flavor profile. And then this one, for contrast, is high plus toasted heads. When you get into the high toast, it's more like espresso, dark chocolate, just really dark, sort of indulgent flavors. I'm a burnt girl, so <laughs> I want the heavy toast. You want the heavy. I'm lacking the heavy toast. Yep. Not only does the source of the wood, the toast, and the age of the barrels contribute to the final wine's taste and style, but the time a wine spends in the barrel is a contributing factor as well. I'm headed to Sonoma to taste the difference straight from the barrel. So Leslie, this is a new oak barrel, and this is a 2016 Pinot Noir. Uh, you can see the color is pretty intense. That is. So beautiful color intensity. This... You can really smell this too. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And a new oak barrel um, gives you such intense oak character, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of vanilla and a lot of baking spices um, would really You really lift. feel the oak. Exactly, you really <clears> do. <throat> and then in addition to the new barrels, we have you know, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old barrels as well. It's sort of logarithmic. You know, the, the first year that you use the barrel gives the majority of the flavor. The next two years, a little bit of flavor. And you only use it for about three years, and it then do. it becomes a neutral vessel. It does. Because there is tannin in oak. There is. Most absolutely. people don't know that. We talk about the tannin in the grape, but um, we don't often talk about the actual wood tannin, yeah. which imparts a character as well. It does. And the vanilla notes come from the toasting of yeah. that of those staves. Yeah, when they caramelize the wood sugar, some of those sugars actually turn into vanil, and, and that mm -hmm. vanilla is, is the, the actual compound that's right. in vanilla. So a common descriptor when we're talking about wines that have been aged in oak barrel is that vanilla, vanillin note. Exactly. Mm. Not to waste wine, we're pouring it back. <laughs> Absolutely. The angel share. <laughs> that's right. And then let's just go to two-year-old barrels, and now we're getting to basically a neutral barrel, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay I want to taste this. Yes. <laughs> I want to taste this. Because it's very different. You use this almost like a recipe. We you know? do, Your yeah. recipe's a little different than the next Pinot Noir makers, and um, you might use 10% new oak versus somebody who uses 50% new oak, and that does make quite an impact it in does. the final wine. And we'll change that from vintage to vintage. It's just pretty fruit and floral. It's beautiful. Very different than what was in the, the brand new barrel. Mm -hmm. So Leslie, it's fun to taste these young wines from barrel and look at the different barrel trials and the different coopers, but you know what I really enjoy? What is that? Tasting the final wine. Oh, I'll see a man after my own heart. Pinot Noir, 2014. 
2014, we see the effect of all of this work right here. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Now, in the wine business, it is okay. It's actually required that you spit things out. There you go.